Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and we're looking at uh, one of my tropical guavas before I bring it indoors today. Um, now this particular one is a Bangkok giant, Thai giant, has different names, Bangkok apple, depending on who you rely on. The people who've actually grown this one call it a Bangkok giant. The people I've bought it from Canaris call it a uh, Bangkok apple. So there's obviously um, one or others mistaken and I would think that the Canaris are probably one that made the mistake. Um, but I think that's just another synonym anyway. It is the large, I think, green fruited Thai, uh, Thai guava. These are particularly large fruit, or at least it would be in when grown in Thailand, probably not here. Um, but it's one that um, I'm quite pleased to have. Now what I'm going to try and do with this is um, when I put it in the kitchen, I'm actually going to uh, cover this one in a polythene bag I've decided this year to try and see if I can cut back on the leaf loss because guavas, my guavas do not like the dry household centrally heated atmosphere of my house and they invariably end up obviously getting various pests and diseases on them as they get weakened by being indoors and they suffer from uh, certainly from scale insect possibly mealy bugs and possibly from thrips but I'm thinking that if I put it in a polythene bag although that might encourage uh, fungus flies fungus gnats rather it might at least help the plant hold on to its leaves longer. Now if I could get the plant to hold on to its leaves until February or March and then the light levels start to increase in spring, then obviously there's a better chance of the plant going uh, deteriorating too much in winter because what tends to happen is they die back so much in winter and then it takes all next summer for them to recover again i wouldn't have this problem if i had a greenhouse or conservatory but um, in the dry kitchen air even though a kitchen's slightly more humid than some other rooms obviously they still deteriorate pretty quickly so as i said i'm going to have a go at um, growing these with a polythene bag over the top and if I find I get any mould or other issues with them at that, at that point obviously I will have to remove the bag and let them take their chances with the dry atmosphere. So this is a tropical guava, Psidium guajava and the variety should be Bangkok giant or Thai giant but we'll probably never find out actually because I'm unlikely to get them to a fruit here but at least uh, it's nice to be growing the uh, the plant and it's it's a variety that wouldn't be very easy to replace here if something happened to this one so thanks for watching that video please give me a thumbs up uh, you can share the video if you think it might interest anybody please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell of course if you'd like updates on new videos as they come out i will catch up with you all soon brett out for now